Now heading to politics with the fifth elections looming, analysts arguing that this may actually be former Prime Minister Netanyahu's last chance at forming a government, because with each failure, faith in his ability to bring the nation together falling with it. With me to debate the points is legal counsel from the Halel Likud Forum and Imtirtu attorney Ziv Maor and Mark Shulman, political analyst, columnist for Newsweek and editor of HistoryCentral.com. Thank you both so much for being with us. Now, Ziv, I'll start with you. Do you agree that the right wing and the religious factions are starting to become disillusioned with Netanyahu after four repeated elections? No, they cannot be disillusioned because there is no disillusion. The cooperation between Netanyahu and this bloc is based on ideology, is based on fact, is based on common history, and is based on the common, uh, uh, I'd say, ideological hostility towards the other side. They, uh, we share values. And it is not Netanyahu the person, it is, uh, this, it's Netanyahu's voters. So uh, you can say that in the Haredi street, definitely in the majority of the national religious street, there is a vast support towards Netanyahu. There are indeed some doubts as to is there any point to go to another election uh, that might end the same way. But there is a consensus both in the religious and the Haredi street in Israel that whatever uh, Netanyahu may or may not bring to the, uh, to the stage after the upcoming elections, it will definitely not be as worse as the go uh, government that is currently uh, t terminating its, uh, its term. Uh, Mark, I want to ask you, really the same question because Ziva is talking about many of the parties in the right wing who uh, are ideologically aligned but at the same time I think it's it seems like it's becoming a question of whether or not they are aligned with uh, under the Netanyahu banner not necessarily under a right wing banner how do you respond look I've, I've spoken to a quite a number of Likudniks recently people who have always voted Likud and they're not voting Likud this time they've just about had it they don't understand why he's running again it's time for someone different in any other place in the world, he wouldn't dare run in the middle of a trial. I mean, we look back at history, Rabin resigned because Leah Rabin had a $5,000 account in the United States that she didn't close. So, but the level of failure time and time and time again, he ran, he ran, he ran and did not win, did not form a government. Who does that? Who doesn't give up after the second, third, fourth time? Why would he possibly run again? Because he thinks only he can do it. Then there are people at this point are saying, wait a second. We might agree with the ideology, although I would argue the ideological differences in Israel on issues other than religion are not all that great. Left and right in this country is a nomen or created at this point by the right claiming radical left. There's no radical left in Israel, in Israel at all at the moment. No one's suggesting withdrawals or anything else at the moment because there is no Palestinian partner for the moment. So the reality is there is no big difference between right and left. It's all a personality issue. It's an issue that only... Um, Netanyahu can do it. What can only Netanyahu do? What did this government not do that Netanyahu was able to do? Not a thing. The fact of the matter is Israel is a strong country not because of Netanyahu, not because he was prime minister, because Israel is a strong country. And it's time for new and young leadership. And I think everyone has that sense. People in the Likud are afraid to say it publicly. I would make you a bet if you had a no. hidden vote inside what? Likud where no one, would, no one would know who voted for who. Netanyahu would not win at this point. Because it's no, time. No, Mark, this anyway, is not true. Anyway, Don't anyway, No, there were elections in 2019. There was primary elections for the, for the leadership of the party. Don't presume to put words in other people's mouth. Now, as for you, for what you've just uh, said earlier about the fact that no one in his position as a, as a defendant in trial would uh, dare to, uh, to become a candidate for, for becoming prime minister, well, I must respond to that and say he is running because... The, uh, the, the accusations against him are political. Oh, stop this nonsense. Everybody, everybody in the whole chain was appointed by Netanyahu. This is just an attempt by him to, to, what, to say what it was all political. What kind of argument the, the head, is... The head of the police... Uh, the head of, one at a time, the gentlemen, the one at a time. The, the head of the police, the head of the... Um, the Yoetz Mishpati, the, the attorney general... General all these authority. Now you appoint, appoint these by Netanyahu. People were close to Netanyahu. They all saw the facts and acted accordingly. Please stop with this political. That it's a political trial. It wasn't a political okay. trial. It was, there's no question that well, what he did was real. I mean, right. there is whether no, he's found guilty there or is not. No question. There is no question as well into what he did. There is also no question in the majority of the Israeli public right now that what he did was not criminal. And on the other hand, the persecution against it is indeed criminal. criminal on Excuse behalf me. Of the general taking a hundred thousand dollars, taking a hundred thousand dollars in gifts Let, is criminal uh, in Israel. We'll uh, no, so, so, so I want to. No, so I want to block. I, I want to back it's away a, for, for one okay, moment. For one. I know Ziv, Mark, yeah. I just want to back away a little bit from the accusation, from the allegations against Netanyahu, because it's sure. not—it's not exactly 
pertinent to my next question. You know, again, if we go to sixth elections, there are several within the Likud, uh, including Edelstein, who said previously, uh, before I believe it was the last election, that yes, Netanyahu polls higher than me, uh, and he, we, the Likud might get more seats under Netanyahu, but if it were under me, I would form a government. How, how do you respond, Ziv? The question at hand is who is in control, the public via the members of the Knesset, our parliament, or the judges and the officials and the general attorney as in minions? This is the question. And if Netanyahu eventually will evacuate his place, will give up his place, this means that there is no democracy in Israel. This means that the general attorney and the judges are the ones calling the shots over here. And this is why the, the right wing, the conservative public in Israel, is behind Netanyahu, not necessarily because of his agenda, which is time time question, definitely not because of his personality, which is definitely questioned, but because of the fact that he is our choice. And the issue is whether or not we are allowed to make this choice or other people will decide for us whether or not it's corrupt. Accusations against him are ludicrous. By definition, there is no other legal system that would allow it not for a sitting prime minister, this is what it was when he was accused, but for any other civilian. The, the, the articles that, that are being used against him, the, the kind of felonies of which he's being accused are ridiculous. Well, but, but, but again, no uh, again, uh, uh, aside from these accusations, whether or not you, whether or not they are political, this is the topic. It, uh, but it's but I it's essentially it. irrelevant. I mean, because we're talking about polls it's that have come out it, just in the, the last few weeks. Ziv, there are polls that have come out just in the last few weeks among religious voters, among the Haredi parties, for example, that said that if Netanyahu fails to form a government after fifth elections, over half of them, over half of those who were polled, said they would want Netanyahu to be replaced just so that that the right wing has a better chance of forming a, a government because Netanyahu has become a persona non grata among many of the parties. Uh, Mark, I'll, how do you Look, respond? Look, the, 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 the reality is right now there would be a new government in two seconds if Netanyahu would have moved aside. That's the reality. We've had four elections because he refuses to move aside, and we're having this fifth election again for the same reason. In two minutes, a coalition could be, found, could be formed without Netanyahu as the head. That's the reality. So he is the one person, because he believes he can do it, standing in the way of creating a stable democracy at this, in the country at the moment, a stable government. Now, whether you can claim, when you can make whatever claims you want against the judiciary, the police, everybody, it's a great big conspiracy, because conspiracies are the, are the newest thing. Everything is a conspiracy. The reality is that he is the one person standing between us and a stable system at the moment. Because without yeah. him, there will be a government in two minutes. With him, a stable it's impossible system, to form a stable it. government, not a stable democracy. Democracy is a system in which the public decides. The public mm -hmm. decided that they want a conservative ideology, the, one that resides the, on the public will and not on the, on the will of the officials. If they, if excuse the, the me, excuse me, if they want it, him away, are people there was not, there, there, there was not democracy. fifty. There was not fifty-one percent of the public who voted for right wing. It was divided. It was closely divided in this country. The country is clearly divided. No, and you the reality. Wrong. It was 54% you, you're talking about, you're talking of the public about, who voted right-wing. 54%? Are, yeah, are you including the Arabs? Yes. 65, no, 65 no, mandates. Yeah, no, if, if you... If you put if you, in uh, Gidon Saar's party and the Taliban's party, but, you, but, no, but, those, but those people made it very clear before, and they would. They, Bennett didn't, but Gidon no. Saar made it very clear right. they would not go with Netanyahu. All no right. shadow of a doubt. All right, Mark. No, this is not the case. All right, Mark. Nathalie Bennett lied to his constituency. Okay, okay. I finished by saying that he lied to his constituency, promising that he will sit with Netanyahu and turn back not to his promises and lie to his Gideon public. Not did not. Gideon Saar did not. Bennett no, said he would if he could form a government. Mm. Bennett said he would if he could, but the reality is Netanyahu so, couldn't form a government because he wouldn't sit with Ram and Smutrich couldn't right. sit together. And that's why he couldn't form a government. Mark, he tried to, but he couldn't succeed. All right, Mark Zeev. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to have to leave it here, but thank you again so much for joining us and, and having this much. debate. Pleasure. Hi, everyone. It's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.